Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and we're back to Sun Hill for the room. Hello, John. Good to see you. Uh, as you can see, I did something with my hair. <laughs> the last episode, what were we doing? We were, yeah, we were in um, water prison and... <laughs> Thanks a lot, bud. Yeah, I'm wearing glasses now. <laughs> this is my new life. It's an another thing to think about all the time. Is there floating heads now? Now I'm ready for you. Don't you do that to me. They're not here. John, last time? Holy fucking shit, they scared me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I miss doing them too and following everybody else's streams, but I've been. Super busy, we've had some, I'm not going to say misfortunes, but yeah, issues. And in all of that, it's just, after I'm done, it's already 9 p.m. <laughs> I'm up for nothing. But yeah, the idea is to be back. Always, though, <laughs> it just depends what happens. Thank you for the host, John. Can't believe you're still up. Oh, there she is. Are we gonna see the... Thank you, the the, the, the caps lock <laughs> means a lot, just so you know. Thank you, John. Eileen, can I see your face, not your butt? Her back is still good, yeah. Man, last time <laughs> when I was doing this, 10 days ago <laughs> you went to bed literally a few minutes later i was like minding my own business spying on eileen you know the usual and i get out of it and just like i was looking around and then you see that goddamn flow i've never seen that and after all the times playing it i surely have peeked out the window but <laughs> i felt the fear here it's not like you know and it's not like a jump scare when you're like holy shit what's that it's more like my mind realizing there's a floating head just i don't know first time it was going up or down we're just passing the window oh, did that really happen and it just re additionally reminded me of some nightmares i had as a kid so <laughs> it got me pretty good <laughs> windows are a scary thing now I guess everything is okay here. So yeah, as I was saying, we were doing the prison world and the building. No, the uh, yeah, the building world, which basically is things we can see from out here only in the. <laughs> me too. Me too. This is like, it's a good game. It still keeps on giving. I'll, like fifteen years after I initially played it, shit. <laughs> so we were on all of this, like these, the building. You can see the fire. Uh, fire stairs, the signs, but it was all twisted and fucked up. And <laughs> I'm watching you, window. You asshole. Oh, what, what's the quick turn here? Is there a quick turn in this game? Oh, this isn't Resident Evil. There's no quick turn. At least not in, no. At least not in first person mode. Oh, nice. Oh, fucking Frank, look at him just the fuck are you doing there man <laughs> just hanging out front side of my door imagine the tenants going by seeing their superintendent just like <laughs> hanging in front of, staring at a tenant's door what are you doing that i'm preventing the evil from spawning <laughs> no he's just standing there. there's nothing interesting that's good we can just like nudge people from from a Silent Hill stream to a Silent Hill stream. I've done some long-term planning in my, like, an organizer today. So, uh, at least until June, there will be Silent Hill streams. Because the next thing is Origins. <laughs> yeah, but he couldn't protect his son. So, the next thing is Origins, then Homecoming, then Shattered Memories. Okay, nothing new there, I think. U-shape. 
that's important now after we saw Richard die? A movie, you mean like Hitchcock movie? Nothing good on the radio. The TV doesn't give a shit. Can I store something? I just got the axe and the zapper. That's my inventory. That's all I need. <laughs> Fuck everything else. Oh, I wonder that too. It's been a while. I wonder if the game like keeps track with the internal clock. Because I find more and more these retro games have hidden features like that. Oh, the hole is now like super wide. Blood. It's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water-filled room under the cylindrical prison. Okay, this hasn't changed. He's not really imaginative. Do you have time to pee? <gasps> There's something in the toilet. Should I grab it? Yes. I'm not brave enough to do it. Are you fucking kidding me? What does that even mean? Is that a reference to James? Like, what? <laughs> are you sure? Why are you asking me if you can't do it? <laughs> I mean, Heather at least says, no, that's fucking crazy. I'm not sticking my hand into a toilet. But Henry's like, like I'm not brave enough to do it. <laughs> well, it's too late now. You could have drank when I offered you like the first two, three trips. Is there anything else in the room now? So, the I think all the... All the Ah, fuck it, I'm just going. This hole, it doesn't look like a human made it. It's getting bigger and rounder. I think I've seen th this pattern before. Yeah, it's called a cylinder. <laughs> I think J James just doesn't give a shit. Maybe that was another like hint uh, from the developers. He's willing to rifle through other people's, not other, other people's demonic shit, not just regular shit. That's like Silent Hill Fog World shit. That's how little shit he actually gives. He takes all the shit he doesn't care. <laughs> now this conversation's gone a little aside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So after the building world, we're back. We're now in the apartment world. We're now in our building. Though it's gonna be fucked up. And I remember a big thing that used to cheat me out of... Oh, 303. Oh, shit. That's Eileen's room. Goodbye, Eileen. Goodbye, Eileen. I'll see you in my dream. All dramatic, Walter. <laughs> I will just now slowly walk away. I got you all in my spell. What the hell is this? Why are the subtitles off? I don't know. If we approach this now. You should see little Walter. Yep. Knocking. Let me in. And he'll disappear when we come here. Oh, damn, I spoiled it. I shouldn't have said that's little Walter. I've been keeping it all this time. No, actually, they said it in the last episode. That's what happens when you don't stream. When you start a series and don't do it for a while. It's locked. There's a scrap of red paper stuck under the door. There is... This is the same way they show up under my door. Yeah, I didn't check the door. Was there anything new? You hear that? <laughs> Your support means a lot, man. You have no fucking clue. You think you do, but you know nothing. Oh shit, there's already dead dog. Better get my taser. Uh. The ultimate bioweapon. Or the ultimate weapon weapon. Is it gonna be fucked up? Are there twins here? Oh, there's nothing here. Good. I'm not ready to fight any twins. Man, I love this. Like the, I love the camera and gameplay of this game. I don't know why people hate it. It's like, look at this. It's so maneuverable. Wow, look at all these porno magazines. <laughs> Hey, Henry, among them, can you find 
Heather, the penis killer. Maybe. There's a diary here. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me who gave me that rare porn magazine, looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare one, he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist and he always he's always investigating stuff, but I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. July 1st, Mike. Oh, my beautiful Rachel. Rachel. Apparently she's named Rachel. No. I, you mean like Forbidden Siren? Because I got the first part of the game uh, at a gaming convention two years ago. Ran home happy. Popped the fucker in. It's in goddamn Italian. So I gave it to my friend who speaks Italian. Because I can't do shit with it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's something I want to get. Definitely. Actually, I haven't checked eBay for it recently. I should. Yeah. <laughs> it, they just started going, Mamma mia, buongiorno. Like, what the, that's not horror, man. You're speaking Italian. How scary can that be? <laughs> You're just making me hungry here. <laughs> I kid, but yeah. It's, you know, I couldn't understand shit. They're, like, both audio and text <laughs> in Italian. So, yeah. I had to... I just gave it to him. I know he wanted it. <laughs> what is it? Is that is that the Mario? Yeah, it's a Mario. It's it's a different version of Mario. <laughs> Don't make me do my Italian accent. <laughs> oh my beautiful Rachael. <laughs> What's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me. But I guess maybe it was somewhere else. Now a Rachael or Rachel I don't know if you knew this, John, uh, but that's the that's the that's the Rachel that was Mary's nurse, Mary from Silent Hill Two. So um, so close. You know that Laura mentions her. She thought you know she says, or even Mary in her letter says, you you know, I'll give this letter to Rachel, the nurse, after I'm gone. That's the Rachel. Mario from the Mario Super Show. The 1980s American TV show, if that one, I've seen, I've just seen what it looks like. I only watched the Zelda Super Show or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that Mario was on crack <laughs> all the time. Great actor, though. I don't know what his name is, but I, I forgot. But <laughs> 80s cartoons. So, Rothschild, maybe it was somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. July 2nd, Mike. So, did Mike live to see July 4th? Because that would be sad to die on July 3rd. It's a red piece of paper with nothing written on it. Take the red paper. Yes. I'll stick it under room 2's door, or 302's door. At least he's smart. He figured that out on his own. <laughs> Where are we? TV, porn, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> a whole, you know what? No, until I st stick this red paper there. Or actually, yeah, I'll know which one is which. I remember this later being, this later being pretty fucked up second time around. This guy, is it a super? He was much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. Well, take the key. Take the key. South Asheville Heights Superintendent's Key. It says 105 on it. It's a photo of the super when he was much, much younger. It's a photo of a nurse. It says, I love you on it. There's a key taped to the back of it. Locker 106 key. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Ooh, more to read. I love these parts. Magazine lying open. Teaching Despair, Wish House. That's the same article we read in Sand Hill 3 with Heather, the penis killer. Teaching Despair, Wish House. Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. 
but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it's a heathen organization that teaches its own wrapped, warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith Temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, those pesky children crying in pain and agony all the time. But they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion operates Wish House that operates Wish House is known by the local simply as the Oda. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Schreiber? Holy shit, what happened here while I read one file? Yeah. <laughs> Joseph's article is in the... What is that sound? Just the sound. Let's pause that while I do this. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I have to do it. Uh, no, thank you. There we go. Damn, how, like, is that like a, a an organized attack? Look, did you see that, John? Wait, there's more? Four? <laughs> okay. Now we're done with that. Weird Xbox start and select being at the left thumb. Look, who the fuck thought that was smart? Oh, shit, this is like, there's a... Unlike Heather, though, Henry will not... Fall in, cause he's not. He when he sees a hole, he's like, "Oh no, no! If that's not a hole in my bathroom, I'm not going down that hole." <laughs> yeah, they pop up from time to time. I don't know what's the porno magazines everywhere. There's no time for that right now. Well, you don't have time to piss. You don't have time to wank. I mean. There are porno magazines scattered all over the floor. I think, I think you know, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't, not disappoint, but like, oh shit, there's a ghost. If you, if you let little Henry have some fun, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you'd be immune to all these. Hello, little boy. Uh, mother powers. It's like, you know, maybe if Walter saw your pee, pee he'd be like, oh shit, man, no, get out of my apartment. Get out of my mother. You put the red paper in the door crack. <laughs> sure. I did. I did do that. <laughs> School ball, buddy, old pal. Zoinks. There's a motherfucking ghost here, Scoob. I better enter the hole. <laughs> well yeah you know I, I one of my one of my scariest aside from the fucking floating head of course one of the scariest things from Sun Hill games 
is the saddest ending in this game. You know the one where he where where little Walter is hugging the couch. That's so disturbing, I can't even... Oh, it gives me the chills. There's no, like, bloody images or anything. You just see that and you hear that spooky music and you see how satisfied he is and you know everyone's dead and it just... Oh, <laughs> I think that's... That and the Silent Hill 1 uh, ending where you... where you realize, like, the bad... the regular bad ending where you realize, like, you've been dying all along and just tripping balls. Those are, like, the two scariest endings for me in these games. <laughs> Maybe that orphanage in the forest and the cylinder-shaped prison were both somewhere in this photo, too. Maybe. Seems there's some kind of ancient native religion still active in Silent Hill. I don't think these will change anymore. Yeah. Yeah. As Scruffy from Futurama would say, yep. Never sunny. Strange things happen. Yeah, this UFO, yeah. Any floating heads about? Oh, there's Robbie. Okay, yeah, so... You know what? I'll have to, like, just out of curiosity, I will start a game or load one of my old games on the, on the PS2 and see if this happens. He's there quite a... He was there quite a few times now. The fuck is that sound? <laughs> uh. Oh, I think wash. Has it begun? I think it's begun. Please don't tell me it starts now. Yeah, it started. It's tank filled with oil, yeah? Now you want to talk about that. Tools and things. What the hell is this? The dryer sprayed blood all over the place. At least it stopped. Oh, please don't tell me the hauntings will start. So, yeah. I don't want them to start yet. I want to... I want the best ending. Let's look at the peephole first. The room will get scarier and scarier. Oh, Frank's still there. But I can't see him in the other world. Or, or is this the other world? I'm not entirely sure. There's a red paper stuck in here. It was four years ago that they discovered a body with 12 out of 21 carved into it. Oh, this is Joseph. We gotta give him, like, 50s announcer voice. Right away, I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter has been dead for seven years, having committed suicide, committed suicide three years prior to the murder. The police think it's a copycat, copycat crime, and are calling it the Sullivan Case Round 2. Fight. But something about it bothers me. May 14th. Okay. A red paper. I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. Oh, it's Joseph. <laughs> 0 1 1 2 1 is actually big reveal. 1 out of 21. Oh my god, we saw the case. Yeah, we knew that. In other words, 1 out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people, but he never finished the job. He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the 7th and 8th victims. Afterwards, he, he committed suicide in the jail cell. The grisly mass murder of 10 people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. Yeah, we talked about it here, also in Serbia. We're like, did you hear about the Walter Sullivan case? <laughs> There are two big, big puzzles here. The first is, what was the motive for the murders? The second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. Okay, so we're collecting these. These shoes. I'm pretty sure I bought them in Silent Hill. Yeah, the shoes text also changed, but I forgot to check that. Okay. 
It's gonna be back. I know it'll be back. You know what I might do? I might just see what Eileen's doing. <laughs> that seems to trigger it. She's okay, okay? She's just casting a spell on the dresser, apparently. Whew! <laughs> Come on, head. Fucking phone vibrated. <laughs> That's what it did to me. And it'll happen when I forget about it. When I least expect it, it'll be like, ha, hey, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Like, I know he killed like 10 people so far, but, you know, he killed himself. That indicates he's insane. You know, the first 10 people, they might have just taken his parking spot or something, you know, tried to invade his architectural mother. But uh, <laughs> killing himself, that's a clear tell of craziness. So uh, the room... Yeah, let's go back. Anything to put in? These things we gotta use, so yeah. Let's just use the giant hole in our bathroom to travel through dimensions. As if... As if in a... Will you take it now? <laughs> as if in a Twilight, Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> Oh, Henry. I love Henry. He's the best kind of weird. He's the Twin Peaks weird, you know. He's not bad. He's not like... He's not even crazy. He's pretty normal for his world, but... Oh, shit. I forgot about the dude in the... So he... That... that, that I think that's a grandma. I read about how all of them got killed in the... In the Sullivan Victims book. Uh, you know, it says all their... Per States their purposes. Why Walter... Walter? <laughs> Walter, that was so Slavic. <laughs> Walter killed him. Well, yeah, you were just in there. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> we actually have a... Oh, we gotta find a link key. Could he be the next victim? Or could it be... Find out in the next episode of Silent Hill 4, The Room. We actually have a very, very popular movie called uh, Walter Brani Sarajevo, Walter Defense Sarajevo, which is a city in Bosnia. And I heard, I don't know if it's true, but I heard it's one of the most viewed movies in, on the planet just because it's very popular in China for some reason. <laughs> So, Walter, yes. Uh, hello, Walter. How you do, comrade? He's gonna speak to me. I got this from Miss Galvin. No, I don't want it. Time ago. You, you know what happens if you take this. <laughs> Here. I'll give it to you. Damn fucking doll. Gonna say something, Walter? I don't wanna pick the doll up though. I wanna talk to him. Can you not pick up something? I think as soon as you kneel you pick it up. If I pick that all up, I fuck up my good ending by quite an amount. So what happens? As I said, the room will stop being uh, friendly and will start being hostile. 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 Ha. Huh. And uh, it'll start getting possessed and haunted. And I have to clear the hauntings, over 80% of them, if I want one of the triggers for the good ending. The other one being keeping my neighbor safe. So if I take the doll, one of the things that happens is it starts haunting the... <laughs> uh, 
it starts haunting the apartment along with other ghosts. And it requires additional effort to purify, like exercise from the room. So, no, fuck the doll. We'll take it when we go for a worse ending. Oh, there's nothing here. Yeah, the building, this floor doesn't have... This side doesn't have three floors, so yeah. Still gotta check the the corners. Wait, these keys are for... No, describe it. What was it? Black button? White button? Uh, back button? 105. Locker key. Okay, you can just press that. Ah, nice. That's so that pauses the game. Examining, but using doesn't. Hmm. 105 and locker 106. So there's nothing here right now, probably. I'll still go and check everything. There's gonna be quite a few twins, I think. And I don't know if I draw the map or do, will I find the map. Oh, there are doggies. Of course there are doggies. Let's kill them now. Oh, shit, shit. If I remember how to fight these assholes. And then step on him immediately. Oh. Okay. That takes one. So the taser is best for... No. The other guy. The guy who's actually alive. Oh. It would be better if just one of them came here. Yep. If you lure one of them, that makes it so much easier. Come on. Oh, he's... Yeah, you can actually I forgot about that that trick you can kill one and and the others will eat its corpse so that's also useful so the stun gun is beautiful because whatever the creatures HP stun them step on them that's all there is to do they're all locked okay so yeah the first time around it's a part of some torn jeans there's blood and some kind of animal hair on them gonna make a lot of sense later first oh wait there's a lot of garbage it looks like there's something pickable Why did we hate Xbox when it first came out? That's a question I want to ask. Look how look how beautifully this game is running. My god, this is on a PAL console. PAL consoles, European models have HD removed for some reason. I don't know. PAL was very fucked. I keep saying that during the analog gaming days. Uh, both GameCube and... Oh, there's a ghost there. There's another one coming, so we got to be fast. If there's anything to pick up, do it fast. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, both GameCube and Xbox don't have any progressive modes. So not even progressive modes, not just HD. Uh, okay, GameCube didn't have HD, but the original Xbox did. And the US and Japanese models, just you, there's an option. You can use HD with component cables. European models, no. You'd have to hack it, which I don't intend doing. I'd rather get a US console. And then you have... Oh, the sound effects. Tenant's lockers, 101 through 304. So I have to use the key, probably. Yep. And we get a bunch of letters. I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. Rothschild. Why is she Rothschild in this version? I'm pretty sure this is probably a UK typo. Because I'm pretty sure on the American version of the game she's spelled correctly. But correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember her being Rothschild. <laughs> Rothschild sounds like a vampire. <laughs> Just mark the hole. No map to pick up. Yeah, this, you don't pick up maps in this game. Door shut tight. It won't open at all. Maybe here? No. 
Maybe Rothschild will tell us. <laughs> so uh, let's go left first. That's the rule for left for a lefty. I think I hear dogs. As long as I don't run much. Superintendent's room. There we go. Get ready for hauntings. Don't take anything yet. Piece of red paper. Yep. Stick it under the door. Another piece of red paper. Yeah. A lot of story come. Oh, just a pe torn red paper with nothing written on it. Okay. And then we have hastily scribbled memo. Found by Nurse Rothschild. <laughs> Return it to room 302, together with the part her boyfriend, Mike, tore off. Okay. I think that Mike was added by, uh, by Henry. Let's not take the key yet. I kind of feel when I take the key, the hauntings will start. Sometimes that triggers them. So for now, don't. It's a red box. Man, this thing really stinks. <laughs> it's practically bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> I like how Frank was like, yeah, that umbilical cord I keep in my room for some reason started to smell awfully. <laughs> Nothing there. There's a computer. I don't know if computers look like that. Like, were des desktops still a thing in 2004? Like, I mean, actual desktop cases, not not, you know, the modern tower ones. It's a diary. Don't you mean dairy? <laughs> the red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I just can't throw it away. <laughs> it must have been around 30 years ago. That young couple was living in the apartment. But one day, they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles. Or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. I called the ambulance right away and I heard the baby survived, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day he just stopped coming by. But now that I think of it, I'll bet he was the, the abandoned baby. It's a horrible story. Abandoning, abandoning a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302, and the umbilical cord I found there. Well, I still can't get, can't get myself to throw it away. You put the superintendent's diary umbilical cord in your scrapbook. Well, I don't know who's crazier, Henry, you or your superintendent. It's just like some weird stuff you people do. And then like, oh, why is our apartment possessed? Oh, why are all these things, strange things coming, happening in Sun Hill and otherwise? That's because you keep weird people as your leaders and you keep, let them keep like umbilical cords and burn their children, you know? No matter what reality, that's gonna call some bad juju, man. <laughs> okay, nothing to read here. Okay, let's take the key. There are keys for each apartment here. Yeah. 303 is missing. Okay, no ghosts yet. Anything else to pick up here? I mean, he turns his head when there's something around, so... There's no reason to look around. If he's not looking in that direction... See, there's nothing there. When keys were there, he was looking at them. Okay. Time to... Time to wreak havoc. Let's start by this part of the building. The hell is this? Okay. Door shut tight. I 
I know, man, this is about your time. Well, I've been thinking something. I'll talk to Mammon and Zombie, and I think they'll agree. I think I'll push my streams 30 minutes earlier. That way I, I, I'll finish around 11 p.m. And, you know, be able to stream in the morning, my morning as well. So that should be like 30 minutes earlier for you. Damn, I wish I didn't miss you, like, when you were off. But even if I knew, I wouldn't be able to do anything. The last two days were crazy. I got RE8 and... Oh, nice. Thank you for checking that. I started playing RE8. I'm enjoying it. I mean, like I said, it's... I already said that. And I don't want to talk about it, not to spoil it for people who haven't played yet. We'll get to that stream after Sun Hill and Eternal Darkness. We'll go back to Resident Evil series. <laughs> right about Halloween, probably. But, uh... You know, it's it's just not scary. There's some very interesting things about it. Even, like, the way diaries go. And I love the new... I just discovered today, uh... Capcom has this on RE Resident Evil portal. You can do... It's much more advanced project progress tracking. If you link it with your RE account, stuff like that, you know, in the game itself, I don't know why I mentioned this, just because I found out today, but like in the game itself, there are some interesting, like the way stories piece together, but it's not scary. Just not, they said they don't want to make it too scary. You made it way little scary. It's not scary. It's less scary than RE4, and that's the least scare, scary game in the series, probably. How do you do that? <laughs> it's fun to play, but it's not scary. I'm torn between that, you know. I still like 7 better for this, you know, so far. I think I'm about third or halfway through the game. But yeah, I haven't been able to do that in the past two days either. Hopefully I'll get back to it tonight after stream a bit or tomorrow. But anyway, it says, my darling's number. And there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Yes. Oh, I just... <sighs> this is Mike's apartment. And the ghosts. Yep. I just made my love hell. So as soon as you press this... I sh will remember for the next time, but... As soon as you press the phone, the hauntings start... I think in all the apartments. Or in more apartments than they were before. So, and also starts this annoying, annoying ring that will follow throughout the building. So I have to, like, find its source to find out where Rachel lives. Four days and two days off. But then six days straight. Oh, shit. Well, that's like, at least they give you some left long-term uh, schedule that's I appreciate that in your name <laughs> I hate when they tell you like oh yeah uh, you're going out of the night shift tomorrow you work in the morning no and <laughs> I'm not <laughs> well which days are you off if you know next week it's a nurse's uniform the name of it says Rachel look what you did Henry look what the fuck you did ow Move! Ow! Move! Ow! Oh, there's not enough room here for the two of us. Shit, I'll have to run. So it's one of the ghost victims. Half a health with two hits! Oh shit, they're starting to haunt everywhere. Why did I do that? I wish I could just go tiny little bit back. And now I gotta go to the room. Where was that hole? Yeah, this is a safe zone. Just so I can heal while it's still doing that. In a few, like, pretty soon, very soon, it's gonna stop doing that. And that, then I gotta focus on the game. I gotta focus up. No more running around doing shit. Because only healing I'll have from that point is the healing I've accumulated. Well, good night, John. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for staying, sticking around. Let's just see if the head's there.
Hello, head. Are you there? Oh. Doesn't want to talk to me anymore. So glad you did it, buddy. Rest well, and I'll catch you. Whenever you see me on, drop by. I know you will, and vice versa. Good night. Oh, because you r rang the phone, God damn it, Henry. Okay, head. It's you and me. These are all the keys, right? Yeah. Hmm. Duh. God damn it, Frank. I think he's just walking around. Not brave enough to pull something out of the toilet, but brave enough to <laughs> go into a random hole in my toilet. Let me reconfigure my legs so uh, I can sit a little easier. There we have it. That seems more comfy. Okay, with my HP full, I'm gonna go find that apartment with the phone first. Put it into the ringing. Is it here? Oh, I'm in Richard's apartment, actually. Holy fuck, look at that. There he is. At the window. I can see Eileen Galvin from here. I'm pretty sure that's room 303. What's, what's she doing in this world? I can or I can't? I can. Yeah, that's her. We can see her. This is the gun Richard was using. Take Richard's revolver? Yes. Maximum of six bullets, easy to use with moderate stopping power. So it's better than the pistol, the one we already have. There's men's blood bloody underwear and a torn shirt sleeve in the garbage. Oh, we're gonna piece this together. Yes, we are. Golf club. A putter. You got a putter. I love how the sound changes. <laughs> Can you zap the ghosts though? Should try that. Nothing else here, okay. baby bed lots of kids toys lying around
Oh, there are dogs here. Okay, good to know. You stuck a little boy? Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Oh. Is there more of them? No, just one. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I swear I heard another one. So there's nothing here, really? Well, at least for... Oh, shit. I've... I knew I heard another one. Come on, zap him. You gotta do it immediately. There we go. Whew. Okay, so... Looks like a kid's graffiti. The writing is so jammed together it makes me feel sick. And there's nothing to pick up, really? What was the point of killing these two? I, I found nothing in this room. I don't get it. Okay, I guess there's nothing here. This is just... This was just bait. I've been baited. And it worked. These are like children's beds, like six kids. Jesus, people! There were six kids in this in this apartment. Imagine the noise. No fridge either. Either. <laughs> Okay, that room was a loss of time. A colossal waste of time. Video game machines. Now I gotta be fast. Running from a ghost and exploring isn't easy. Ghost. Zap him. Read it quickly. Ooh. There is something here. Cassette tape. S labeled skinned mic. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. I guess that's all in this room. Two oh five, okay. God damn that phone is so annoying. Let's put the papers in under our door and see what we can do further and don't pick up the doll
listen to the tape as well and put some items in the box actually no I'll use the lower hole garden lady back to the first floor hole don't take the doll pardon La la la. Oh, at least here nothing's ringing. Give me all the red papers. I lost the key to Aline Galvin's room. I gotta find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last play place I saw it was... <laughs> wow, what a convenient rip. Okay, we gotta find the other piece. That's why the phone is ringing. I picked up the key that Aileen from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. May 20th. <laughs> put the revolver put the putter or putter maybe it's putter putter I don't know I don't know golf terms mm. okay You put the skin mic cassette into the stereo. How do you like that, you sick little freak? You had it coming to you. Those clothes are disgusting. Get them out of my sight. Uh, it'll be perfect to wrap this body in. All of it. You! All right, don't you snooping around again? Get your ass out of here before you all really it, piss me all off. It. Hold it, I think I'll keep that one for myself. Hold it, I think I'll keep that one for myself. So there was Richard skinning Mike. And uh, apparently that's not too concerning for these people. I wonder if you can play it anywhere else, but yeah, if we do find another cassette player, I'll be sure to remember to come back for it. Well, health's back. Else full again, so uh, let's go into the hall. Oh, the phone.
What the fuck? Henry? That also works. That one set it set itself up. <laughs> Ghosts. If it starts with that sound, there be ghost here. Ah! No, it's actually these little bastards. Come on, zap him. Come on, zap him, Henry. Yeah. Did all of them? I guess. There's nothing this time around. How about here? Nope. The apartments just look like hell now. I mean, these versions of them look like hell. Then how about... Oh, god damn you nose, why are you so itchy now? That wall has boils or something? Wait. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Looks a little skinny. <sighs> that sound is wasn't the friendliest sound I've ever heard. Anything here, Henry? The cordless fluorescent light is giving off an eerie glow. Well, this is a remodeled apartment. So empty as well. There's nothing there, huh? Okay, one empty apartment. Don't run. Approach the doggy carefully and then zap it. Ow. Okay, 102. Ooh, leeches everywhere. Oh, just hold A, you don't even have to tap it. Just hold it. He'll step on them when they're in range. <laughs> I am the leech stomper. It smells terrible. Open it up. It's wrapped up in these torn, bloody jeans. It's the body of a dead cat. There's a torn red paper in one of the pockets. There we go, Mike's jeans. Okay. So that's the second part of the note. But then this isn't Rachel's apartment. The furniture seems to be covered with some kind of animal hair. Yeah, we're going to read about it if I remember correctly. Again, not sure if it's in this... 
or on the second time around. But we are going to find out more about the tenants. Oh no, phone, you're not annoying at all. Just keep ringing. One oh one, okay. Model gone. Models, they're all models. Oh, well, not that guy again. You're the most annoying ghost of full. Books about guns. One of these magazines has something written on the back cover. My eyes and skin are so itchy. That stupid cat neck door made my allergy go crazy. I was so pissed off I took my converted model gun and blasted away at the thing. At point blank range. It was way cool. The thing just dropped like a stone. By the way, the revolver that Richard in 207 carries is the real thing. That guy is dangerous. Ow. So, as you can see, that ghost is pretty adamant. It's paper target from a shooting range. At ending your life, he's one of the most active ghosts. Ow! And has quite a range, actually. Zap him and fly by. Ow, 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 ow not my soul! Ah, la, la. What a guy. Very few supplies, though. I thought I saw something. Where would that door lead? Ah, uh, wait. That's like a supply closet or something? Okay, we're getting closer. With that annoying ringing. Plenty of cooking tools, but there's nothing I need right now. So why are all these apartments here if you can't do anything in them? Maybe again, maybe the second time around. I just I just wish I could find more things than this. Wow. Oh, jeez, I didn't even step in. Oh, okay, this is getting serious. Gotta run out and find the hole. Woo! Let's go down the hallway again. And heal in the room. At least we know the phone is somewhere there.
Slowly but surely, it's recharging health. She's okay again. Wasn't she? He said she's missing last. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's nothing. Maybe she just went somewhere and he misinterpreted it. Oh, I didn't stick the red paper. Fuck. Never mind. I'll do it later. On a lighter note, we have a new addition to the zoo. Is the Wally? Huh. Tiger was born, and both mother and child are reportedly doing just fine. Okay, then. Okay, next. After I do this bit, before getting into Eileen's door, I'll put all the paper, all the other, the rest of the papers I might find along with the one I have on me. I skipped the... Uh, <laughs> the whole animation. Is the doll still there? there? No, it's gone. Okay. And I don't have it. Good. Good! Blood stained shirt. There's a torn red paper in the pocket. It's another. Okay. So good thing I checked. Come on. Woohoo! Woohoo! Step aside, son. Can of bug spray, yes. <laughs> so this is supposed to be super effective against uh, what do we call them? Like uh, hover hummingbirds, whatever they they are. They're not really. I think they're like hummingbirds or something. But yeah, Let's go to the next door. Maybe we draw the ghost there as well. Ah. There's the phone. Stop it. <laughs> you called you called Henry. Of course there's no one there. Who who would be there? Who would you expect? But yeah, let's let's check the photos. It's a painting of a young man. The memo says 107. He listens to great music. I feel sorry for him having to live under Braintree. So let's see, 107. You can actually see where everyone is. Okay, yeah, that's the one we haven't been to. On the first floor? Really? There's a there's one we haven't been to, huh? Okay. Two adults and a lot of children. 206. How can they even sleep with so many noisy kids? Besides that, they have to live next to Braintree. Wow, this person really doesn't like Braintree. It's a painting of a man holding a brush. The memo says, 202, self-portrait. So, yeah, that's the guy from this room. This guy kind of looks like Eddie, I'm not gonna lie. Eddie Dombrowski. Painting of a nurse, 106. 
My beautiful darling. Lately she's been bothered by a stalker. Wait. So are two guys hitting on Rachel? Plump woman. 204. Always eating something. But I wish my girlfriend, girl, girlfriend liked to cook like her. Old couple. 304. A nice, sweet old couple. Wait, where are they? 304. Oh, right. It's on the same floor where we start. I didn't even check that floor. There's nothing here, really? Oh, wait. Woman holding a cat. 102. She loves cats too much and missed her chance to get married. I kind of felt sorry for her while she was mourning for one of her dead cats. So who's Mike then? So 107 is the great music guy. There's gonna be more of them in the other rooms, I'm sure. Man drinking alcohol. 203. He's so noisy. I wish he would stop all the drinking and fighting. Is there Richard? Oh, this must be Richard Braintree. 207. Braintree, that prick. He's always yelling at kids, especially the weird one that hangs around. But he took Mike into his apartment and peeled his skin off. So he's my hero. You people are weird. You knew about that? Man with a gun, 101. A gun maniac. He's always coughing from his cat allergy. Man holding a porno magazine? 301. That perverted stalker. He's got what he deserved. So that's Mike with the porno mags. This must be the superintendent. The memo says 105. Sunderland, the superintendent. The super mistakenly thought that Mike was Rachel's lover. Guy who plays video games. 205. Shot in his room. Looks like he has lots of weird interests. I heard that ta he tape recorded Mike getting beaten up by Richard. Wow. You all need a group therapy, people. <laughs> Everyone from this building. So what's the point of this room? Of this whole side, if there's nothing here. I kind of feel like I should find more of those daggers. That's concerning though on the on the unfinished picture. But I, yeah, I guess that's it. Nothing else left to pick up. Why did I go in here again? What was the thing with the phone? To get more info or... Henry's tired of this bullshit. Hmm. You okay, Henry? Holy... <laughs> Good thing I didn't take him outside to run. There's Granny. Ah, bullshit, she didn't get me. Leave my soul alone. Oh, we got them. This could end bad. This could end very bad. I should probably pin Granny and then deal with the... Uh, 
deal with them. You can't be at two places at the same time. It's illegal. Yeah, we'll check this one through. Who? Let's check the first floor as well. Now, right now I have two pieces to put, okay? There's the 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 good music guy's apartment we haven't checked. Right? We check this one. Yeah. Anything to pick up? Ah, oh, jeez, asshole. I'll have to take a sword and pin them occasionally. Just because I can't do shit with them around. Just garbage. There he is. So that's the same ghost. Should buy me a few seconds. He was looking somewhere. Oh. He, how can you be at in two places at the same time? Oh, okay, let's, um, let's go back. They're not really good hunters, so that, that, that goes to my advantage. We've checked this side completely, yep. So now we just gotta go up. No, the doll's still there. It's gonna stay there. And there's nothing on this side because the building has two floors on one side and three on the other. Got around half a health. I should be able to do this. Unless there's like a big haunting in here. Also a shelf. Ooh, there those doggy figurines from the shop we were in in the apartment world. Or the building world. This is the apartment world. Okay, anything else? I think it's unlimited too. Pretty sure it is actually. So nothing in this room. Okay, just demo. Hmm.
Can you hear that? Yeah. Door crack. It's gonna be a ghost here too. Enter the hall, that's right. Back, back in the room. Nothing's changed here. Let's see those red papers for what they are. Oh yeah, I had a really wicked, wicked headache that day and just collapsed on the bed. Maybe if I look near the bed in my room, 302's bedroom, I'll find it. I get headaches every day now, it's terrible. What am I gonna do? May 22nd. So, the key's in my room all along? Rachel, love you, always watching window, protect you with love, Mike. So, I should be able to see from Mike's window into Rachel's. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Let's bring a sword of obedience. Well, no, actually, I'm not going to pin them down anyway. Maybe the annoying guy, but uh, you know what? I could pin the annoying guy down. He's very annoying. He's going to be everywhere. Though I think it's better used on the on some of the hardest uh toughest ghosts in the game. Just two and two. Holy wow, I need more help. Let's see what Eileen's doing right now from this world. We heard it just now outside, so. I don't see, I don't hear, nor did I see anything, so. I wish that had popped up sooner. Is Frank still outside at least? Nope. back into action now the ghost is gonna be right there so just run past I forgot to take the keys okay is there anything here that I haven't checked but all three floors yeah I don't think there's anything big I missed so uh 
right? The only rooms I can't enter is Aline and mine, so let's just... It said to check under my bed, so let's do that. <laughs> it hasn't been there. Something on the ground. Will you take it? You got the doll key. Key with a girl's doll key keychain attached. 303 is engraved on it. There, we have it. Okay, Eileen. This is it. We did it. It could have been done in less than an hour and a half. Definitely. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I still feel like I missed some things in the, the building. Again, probably second time around there's going to be way more shit. Little Walter's gone. One more left. Your mummy. <laughs> Terrible demons. Ouch. So apparently little Walter saved her. Oh look, Henry showing emotion. Don't overdo it, man. <laughs> Might get sick, you know. <laughs> All at once. And it's night outside. Sounds like we're back in reality. <laughs> with the sirens and the screamings. Eileen! I see... Uh, <laughs> identical siblings are still running this street. They might be even running the ambulance, you never know. This town is... Everybody's in it. At least four different vehicles are parked outside. I mean, just outside the building. Try to keep keep up that illusion. Okay, it's dark now. That guy's still losing it. Nobody's like, this building isn't too concerned. Considering you just had like a murder outside your building first. And then two tenants were killed as well. Ah, new comments. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I feel something like fear coming from this photo. The red diary said under my bed. Okay, yeah, we did that already, Henry. I don't think anything of it when I took... I didn't think anything of it when I took the picture, but 
Now it gives me a seriously creepy feeling. There are scraps from magazine articles, but I don't remember cutting them out. It's my scrapbook. Everything in here is also in another copy I carry all the time, so I don't have to worry. Why? <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to ask. No, just have two copies of scrapbook. That's cool. Maybe it's my imagination, but I feel that weird feeling looking at this photo too. Maybe just my nerves playing tricks on me, but this photo gives me a weird feeling. Well, it seems that everything gives you a weird feeling, Henry. Got more papers. Oh, here we go. What's this? That's gonna be very annoying later, man. Or very soon. Okay, the Robbie the Rabbit is very judgmental at the moment. The head does not float today. Okay. Scrap of red paper. I don't think I can protect myself. He's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can't be measured. It was so I was so scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. I wonder if Eileen Galvin is okay. She has no idea what's going on. But she's in danger nevertheless. July 13th. Some kind of strange paper stuck in here. Succubus talisman, card with some kind of frightening demon on it. Still no fifth print. So that's supposed to indicate that Eileen's okay. For now. I guess I'll put it put this back in, not that I'll find too many bugs around. Let's check the new comments. Remote control, nothing useful, okay. TV. Oh, he doesn't even want to look at TV anymore. Clock? Clock's okay. It's stop. How much time has passed since this room started going crazy and the hole appeared? Bunch of cheap no novels, okay.
This is South Asheville Heights. Is there something screwy going on with this whole apartment building? No! <laughs> no. You're, you're imagining things. I got this photo from the superintendent, but there's nothing very interesting about it. Photos of me when I was a kid and when I graduated. Nothing very interesting. Our first haunting. I moved this to the right before. There's nothing interesting about the furniture itself. So this is slowly gonna become something else. A full-on haunting. The water works, but I've got nothing to wash. The burner won't go on. I think that's about it. Shoes? These shoes, are they really mine? I can't open the door. Well, one of the hooks were, were went unused. Ah, the hole is blocked. I can't get any water from here, but I think the kitchen faucet still works. See, he's giving us clues now. I don't need to use that now. Just the typical stuff you find around the sink. Nothing, yeah. Okay. The perspective through the window is just amazing. I feel like I'm looking through a window and not... Yeah, I'm still looking, waiting for that head to pop up. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I'm looking through a window and not... Oh, jeez, what is that? Some kind of stain. Come to think of it, it also looks like an evil demon. Oh, yeah, so I need my card right away. The dryer sprayed blood all over the place. So we're looking for that card. There we go. And I think I'll need these two now. Just guessing. This said... You use the succubus talisman. What the hell? After he did the ritual of the holy assumption, other worlds began to force their way into his universe and it began to swell horribly. But his universe is different than ours. It has limits. And in the limits of that universe he rules as a king. And in the deepest part of his kingdom is his mother. Okay, so... Uh, watchfulness. Temptation. Source. And finally, chaos. There, that's why we're. That's why we're we were collecting them. 
a new hole, a new beginning. The hole, where will it lead to this time? Eileen, I wonder if she's okay. Yeah, she just looked peachy the last time we saw her. You know, ambulance is just another way to travel around. <laughs> Ooh, new windy hole. Now we go to the hospital world. Yep. At least here, I think, will, won't be any ghosts. At least I don't remember them. There will be a lot of burping nurses. Burping, farting nurses. Not weird at all. Oh, there, there they are. That's where I could have used the spray. Not dead. Okay, now she's dead. Woo! Strange human-shaped object. Who talks like that? <laughs> Bloody operating table. That guy, what in God's name was he doing here? Oh, the operating table. There's a blood-stained cover on top of something. I don't even want to imagine what's under that cover. Nothing to pick up. Just this squeaky thing. Was he assembling it, the, the nurse demon thingy? That's it. Literally nothing else. Now if I could only know... If only I knew where there was a hole. So I don't fight these assholes now. Fuck. That spray would have come in handy. Try to get into a room. One of these rooms will have a hole. I'm sure of it. Yes. Is it here? Wait. No. That's Eileen's. Ah, need more water. There are a lot of photos pinned up on the board. Could they, these be Eileen's pictures? Sometimes your questions, Henry. It's a nurse's memo. I lost Eileen, uh, Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. Oh, poor Eileen. <laughs> oh, they even lose the keys to her hospital room. 
She was a patient brought in with brought in with severe injuries. I wonder if I left it in one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. So we have a locked in a patient that we accidentally locked in their room and they're dying. Medical equipment and stuff. Man of words. There are lots of forms with the name St. Jerome's Hospital on them. St. Jerome's Hospital. That's not too far from my apartment. Paper cutting knife. Oh yeah, this is really good for nurses. So you do a few quick swipes and then end it with that. Or quickly fill it. It really has a, a low recharge time. We call that scalpel, by the way. You know, like just like a surgical scalpel. Only this isn't a surgical one, it's just like a paper scalpel. But there are what? All sorts of medical things, but I wouldn't know what to do with any of them. Any health around, boy? <clears throat> no hole still, though. Well, okay, nothing too... Nothing too important here. Try to get to the next door. That's where... Ah! That's where... Yep, that's where the hole is. Okay, let's try that spray on them now. I want to see what it does. But before we do that, I gotta get I gotta go to the bathroom and I gotta get some water. So let's take a five minute break here. I'll be right back with more Sun Hill 4 Azirum. Welcome back everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. We're doing Sun Hill for the room. Uh, and we're back in the room. And, wow, we're still being healed by the room. Okay, okay, still being healed. That, 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 that's cool. So, um, it's after this one that we'll stop being healed. So, we're still not being... Hey, Dizzy. Thanks for stopping by. How are you? Uh, that's good. We still have, we have a little haunting there. But it's just like a baby haunting. It's still not like a full-on person living in our apartment taking our space and not paying the rent uh let's try that bug spray actually i don't remember how well it worked but since there's a lot of those fuckers there it's a perfect spot to use it <clears throat> and fuck the scalpel we have the taser much better yeah Do I want to peek out, though? Very, very tired. Just finished the five-hour stream. Gonna wind a few minutes. Grab a wink. <laughs> you should, man. Five hours is a lot. I try to time it around three hours. I, my head starts getting tired. It's not the same when you're just sitting alone and playing. And, uh, you know, more attention is involved, so to say. It goes well. Uh, it goes actually pretty good. Much better than when I was a kid, definitely. Plus, I found a taser, so I'm fucking invincible now. <laughs> I just want to try the spray can on the little hummingbirds. Because I think that's... that. I'm pretty sure that's a weapon for them. But I'm... Yeah. But I don't remember using it. <laughs> I am. This one's unlimited. It's the best weapon in the game because you just tase enemies and they fall it's a secret weapon so not a lot of people find it kind of secret it's under a bed 
But yeah, let's try this on the... Oh, very good against him. Good. What, one by one? Really? Oh, there we go. That makes more, more sense. No, the other guy, well, he's still there. Yeah, there we go. So the spray... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the spray really works against them. Good. What's here? Broken. Okay. At least we're safe now. It's So that's the only thing that's better for them than... Oh? Uh, than, um... Than the taser. The scalpel works well on the nurses, but when you have the taser, it's unnecessary. Just zap them, step on them. Okay, we got our bag. What's a woman's handbag doing here? I mean, how how dare they leave their handbags around? Must be Eileen's. Eileen's handbag. Looks like it could cause a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's like the... The lowest tier weapon you want to use. Oh, more health. Nice. No hauntings. No ghosts. A bed with wheels. They must move patients with... <laughs> Henry's conclusions are the best. I wonder if Eileen is in, was or is is in this room. Oh, you mean like in the other world, in the real world? Good. Light is broken and lying on top of the operating table. That's it here, I guess. I am still amazed at how fast the Xbox version works. How fast and how pretty it is compared to the PS2 version. Oh, let's read that first. It's a baby's medical chart. Okay. I guess it's not important. Medkit. The lockers are useless. Even though I have a stun gun, I still can't destroy the the lockers yeah it was i knew that but you know the all the games up until like now that i played for the original xbox i played them on 360 i didn't have an og xbox and i got it fairly recently so i knew that sand hill 4 on xbox 360 has that face glitch where everybody looks like <laughs> fucking nightmares because their faces are not rendering well um and I wanted to stream the PS2 version. But then... Oh, here we go. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was badly timed. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Maybe I should dodge, like, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck, that's bad. Okay, let's go heal. Shit, I fucked that up. Ha ha ha! Let's focus up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, room, I'm coming. No health usage allowed till we get to. Um, till at least like the final parts. Fuck, thank you, room. Good thing it's still healing me. I'd be in deep shit right now. Hmm. Yes, yes. Fuck that. I'm gonna give her that. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Do your work, room. I saw a few things though, I don't know if you know, so uh, Dizzy, I, I saw a few things, even John was amazed, because we both played this game so many times, so sometimes over there, just above the uh, South Asheville Hotel sign, there's a bloody Robbie the Rabbit air balloon flying, 
And another thing I saw last stream that scared the living hell out of me was in this window. I saw a fucking decapitated head flying. Oh, I see. Okay, then. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 is the best. I, I think everybody agrees on that. For me, it's Silent Hill 2 and then Shattered Memories is the two favorites. Though a lot of people have something against Shattered Memories. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> They're very expensive now. I'm glad I got the, all my, like, all of those games before. Robbie's a little mad. Before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was looking to get the SH2 and 3 versions for Xbox as well, but I was like, nope, I'm satisfied with my PS2 versions. <clears throat> Though I did, that's what I started saying, so when I did compare the... To, when I wanted to stream the PS2 version of this as well, but I saw all the dithering effects, and especially with component cables, which bring better pictures, but also you can see all the bad stuff you know is also more expressed um it looks ugly compared to this one honestly it, 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 it also the frame rate dips more often it is a weaker console it's expected but i didn't expect this one to look and run this well even on a pal, PAL so you know i'm in europe so i have a pal xbox no hd output you know, all that, all the HD stuff has been removed on PAL consoles. And even like in 480i, it looks wonderful. I can just imagine what it looks like if you set the console to 720p. Oh yeah, Sound Hill 2, especially Sound Hill 3, looks so good on a PS2. So, when I streamed that, I've tried something for the first time. Um, the... Uh, it's called like a sharp mode that you have in options for SH3. It looks even better because you know it has a blur, like a blur filter or whatever, um, for old, old style TVs. But you don't need it like on on modern TVs with component input. So when you t turn on a like sharp mode, which will just removes the blur filter, things look wonderful in SH3. It's so good. Now let's try to get these. Oh, they, they weren't there. They were in the other small room. That's right. <clears throat> Good thing they can follow us through doors. So just zap, step. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, that's not even that room. <laughs> I just ran for my life. Oh yeah, Kingdom... Like Square Enix games? Because... It just depends on the engine of the game, really, and how it renders. A lot of games, so they will display in 480i, but they will be rendered at lower resolution. For instance, Final Fantasy X and X2 and Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, they look progressively better and better. But then Final Fantasy XII looks like shit, just because it renders in a lo in much lower resolution. Even though that game was made with... Uh, higher density assets uh, because they thought ahead they were like we're gonna we're gonna port it HD is becoming the thing we're gonna port it to HD which they did and it looks wonderful but on the PS2 it's one of the ugliest looking games just because of the engine you know how, how it runs and how it renders dodge Henry Come on. As long as they don't... Okay. When they twitch, they're dead. Whoo! Nice. That was that was worth the, the risk. Fairly large amount of health. Continues to restore health over a short time. Yep. Got a needed for Walter at the end. Oh shit, now it's dead. Could have gotten up at any time. Oh, wow. 
yeah these nurses are different as you can hear they fart and uh, and they <laughs> and they burp uh, it's, they symbolize Walter's disgust towards medical personnel I guess or women no I don't think it's women I remember they do symbolize some kind of disgust so they do that that's all the rooms right no one more left okay before we go into the elevator oh wait it's a stairway oh beautiful well what about the elevator then I think the elevator is locked for now I wonder let me just see the timing of the X because if there's three of them I might need a better swing so one two it's very slow in charging so one two three seconds exactly zero one two three yeah okay I'm gonna need that if there's if there's many of them in a place because I'll have to like cut them really fast. <clears throat> they really do a lot of damage. Gotta be careful. If there's some of them upstairs, I gotta think twice before moving on. Nothing there. Oh, right. <gasps> no, 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 no. Get out, get out. No, no, no. Gonna need a heal. That's not a healing spot, but sure. I'll take it. That's scary. Okay, that was scary. Why? Because if they do that chop a chop a thing, they can fuck me up pretty fast. And I don't even have, I just have an ampule on me. Not the best choice. Okay. Plus these things. Oh, the sticky thing. <laughs> He's like a like a plastic man right now. Ugh, ugh. Henry Smash. Henry Mad. <laughs> the fuck? stars stars <laughs> I guess that's like the tyrant floor hey kids wanna be a tyrant we'll just walk on our tyrant sticky floor the terrible smell what's behind the cloth well I guess we don't want to find out this wall must be to prevent suicides <laughs> I swear sometimes Henry's like a child. I love this game, but I even love the character. He's a good character. Just I know he's supposed to be weird, like Twin Peaks weird, but some of the things he says. So try to run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he is. You know the story of the game, though, even though you haven't played, huh? What the hell? I can see legs coming out from the bottom of the cloth. Still not used to that Sun Hill logic, Henry. Oh, I still haven't finished the game. I'm like halfway through. Oh, they're beneath me. Okay. I don't know if my ear's ringing or if it's in the... Ow! They can bite from beneath. Ow! Asshole. Ow! What, what's the point of that room? It's a key. Take the hospital room key. Holy shit. 
Oh, it's probably the key to Eileen's hospital room. Oh, yeah, okay. I just finished the dollhouse, so I don't know what happens after that. It's locked. Uh, oh, that was easy. Can I put the key back? No, can I put the key back on the snake, Henry? I mean, Chris is the most butchered character probably in all of the series. He's overused. Maybe there was something behind there. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You can't use the key on that, huh? Damn it. Um, I think, like, the, the OG Chris, the Resident Evil 1 and Code Veronica, that was my favorite. He started getting way too many muscles and an attitude later. Though I do like his story in RE6, that's my favorite one in that game. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never... Uh, okay. I never thought I would chop so free. Uh. So what was the point of that? It's wet from rain? Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, for me, 4, 5, and 6, just, they're not Resident Evil. I, 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 I don't like what 4 did to the series. I don't like the game. Uh, never was a fan of it. And at least 5 and 6 were fun about it. 6 is pretty fun to play. Still, it's not, there's nothing scary in that game. But honestly, from what I've seen so far in RE8, 6 was scarier than it. <laughs> These enemies aren't scary and uh, better go heal now before... Whoa! So possessed chair is not good. Drain hell. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that's what I say about <laughs> RE4, honestly. I said it many times. It's just... It's a very fun game to play, but it's it should have been its own thing, like Devil May Cry. You know, they, they did that with Devil May Cry, and it worked. Gave birth to a new series while brainstorming for an RE game. Bravo, you know. I don't know. Honestly, I liked 7. Way more than 8 so far. 7 was at least scary. They tried a new approach to keep it, like, fresh and new. But giving you a first-person perspective kind of mimics the fixed cameras because you can only see where the cone of vision allows you. Jack Baker was a good tyrant-type enemy. He, he, for all intents and purposes, he's a tyrant. It, it had an interesting lore. The house was interesting to explore. I wanted to know more. I, I wanted to know what's going on. Didn't like the enemies. I think we all agreed on that. They were the bo most boring enemies ever. Again, they had <laughs> some way more personalities than Lycans and RE8, which are just like easy targets, sometimes swaying, and then they're like, hit me in the head, bro. <laughs> At least the molded gave some fight, you know. The crawling molded were tough, if you, especially in the, you know, it had some moments. It was a fun game for me, you know. It really, first time in years I played a new RE game and I was like, holy shit, this is, wow, woo, what? my arm what the hell just happened i was frankly con you know honestly confused and scared in some moments i prefer that first person over the over the shoulder view you know any day just because it actually makes it more scary but in rea they took even that they took the atmosphere the only piece of atmosphere i felt so far was in the dollhouse and that's very short it's like it even felt like, I even feel like RE8 is draining some inspiration from, like, Amnesia. Because you have a few moments where it feels like Amnesia. Low light and, especially in the dollhouse, you you know, because you can hide and all that. I don't want to say too much for people who haven't played, but... uh Kind of feel, feels like it drew more inspiration from uh, Amnesia than, you know, 
RE7. Which is crazy when you think about it. At least that game was, you know, going somewhere with the scares. I, I wanted to know what happened to Bakers and, you know, how long has it been? I wanted to read documents. Here it's like, oh, I find some 50-year-old documents. They're interesting and that's it. Okay, let's try to get two more nurses. It's going to be a little tricky. The angle's not helping either. No, wrong one. Oh, shit, Henry. Oh, you fucked up. Okay. Okay, after this, everything is easier. That one's gonna flinch. Come on. That one's still alive. Oh. Should be dead now. Yeah, okay. Shit. Some kind of skin smells so bad it must be fairly new. My god, is it human skin? Flashlight mechanics? Hi, ah, you didn't play it. Okay, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's the same. Turns on when the when your character when Ethan thinks it's, you know, it's it's dark enough to turn it on and it's it's weird like all the lighting in the game is phenomenal but the flashlight's just so off so it's not just me another thing though uh, one thing eight has going for it is Ethan finally feels like a human being he uh, <laughs> i know amnesia at least lets you know like pick up lanterns do that thing you know i don't know if you played amnesia it's a pretty good horror game solid it's one of those alone in the dark horror games, <laughs> literally. Yeah. I feel that RE8 tries to be that at certain points. <clears throat> I didn't feel that in 7. It felt more original. Sterile room. Which one is the sterile room? <laughs> Good question. Good question. Is this the sterile room or is the other one? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't think it can really kill me, but you know what? I don't want to stick around and find out. Okay, that worked. When you all want to scare me, game, you really scare me. Sane Medallion. Yes, we're going to need those. They... Anti-spirit effects. Yes. Nice soft afternoon light coming from the window. Is time flowing differently here, or is this some kind of light from heaven? <clears throat> oh, uh, from what I see so far, I don't think they're vampires. <laughs> they're pretty much, I don't want to say too much, but I think there was a there was a, the, a trick, at least from what I've seen so far. Just like the demo for RE7 was uh, tricking us into thinking it's, you know, it's going to be supernatural and it turned out to be science after all. Different kind of science, but nevertheless silence. Dried up flowers. Okay, interesting. Oh, yes. 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 Gonna need those very soon, okay? Okay, we're filling up fast. Another golf club. Horrible smell coming from inside the broken glass. I see someone on the other side of the wire net, but they're not moving. Is it a dead body? <laughs> I don't know. So far, I, my judgment so far, the game is fun to play. Uh, I like that you can, you know, see what you found in the room. Uh, you don't have to find mixed items like in 7. Crafting's okay, but it's like 4 and 7 had a deformed baby. It's not as fun as 4. It's not as scary as 7 or interesting. It's just there. And to think I heard the developer said, ooh, we're making it less scary. It was way too scary. <laughs> Please don't. 
keep it scary. It's supposed to be scary because so far it's been just a f an FPS with RE7 sounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, someone, a friend also said, told me that, you know, to stick around and see what I'm going to think afterwards. The glass is broken. Are these incubators? Perhaps. Oh, wait. Prevent suicide. So there's nothing to pick up. Okay. For me, 7 was awesome until the expansions. The R the Chris expansion was just... <laughs> it was bad enough. You know, it turned into an FPS. But okay, you know, change it up a little. Different character. Okay, I hope she's dead. Sterile room. So this one is really a sterile room, okay? Don't at me. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... uh. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. I don't know. I still haven't met him, but... uh. <laughs> From the from the brief intro they gave us, he did seem like the most. Oh, here we go. Now I'm gonna try a secret I just found out. Hello, Eileen. I'm gonna comment on this. See that? That just happens with this. Yeah, yeah I met him. I haven't fought him yet. I understand like how it goes. These are your four bosses. These are your four dungeons. Go have fun. <laughs> but, uh... Will it do it even... Yeah. Oh. Is it the glare or... No, it's literally going through her eyes somehow. Nice. Um... Lady D was the most disappointing tyrant ever. I will say that much. She has no will into hunting you. Oh, I think I'm gonna be f fill my inventory. She's just like I see her. I never. I didn't even run from her like ho like from Jack. You know, holy shit, he's smart. He's gonna you know he's gonna outsmart me. He's gonna go around and go through the wall. No, it's like oh there she is. I'm just gonna turn around and slowly walk away. And she never caught me, <laughs> not once. Dummy, mommy, yeah, and and uh, like you have uh, you. Thing that's like four boss fights, but when you put three of them and her together, it's one decent boss fight, actually. Some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Oh. Okay, but, uh, why? All sorts of medicines, but I don't know any of the, what any of them are. A few more rooms. A few more rooms and yeah, I'll get to finish this session. Wrap it nice and in plan time with one save, hopefully. I didn't jinx it. It's a man's dead body. Why were, like, fungi <coughs> growing on him? <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> ah, my throat's getting dry. So nothing there, just a man's dead body. Good to know, good to know. Okay, these are incubators. This long thing, what the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord? Yep, it is. It is. But there's nothing to pick up, really? Yeah, he would turn his head if there was something here. He doesn't give a shit. Now I have a full inventory. Okay, now I might want to go back. This bed looks like someone broke it. No. 
I mean, there's not m many hidden items here. <laughs> Thank you, Dizzy. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Just make me sh make sure making sure I'm safe. There we go. I should. Um. <clears throat> ah, oh, I drink so much water when I stream, like more than the rest of the day, possibly because of the uh, constant talking. But yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. There are a bunch of X-ray pictures stuck up on the stuck up. Stuck up? Why are they stuck up on the board? Are these Eileen's x-rays? Are these x-ray pictures on the floor? Eileen? No. Goodbye, Eileen. Goodbye, Eileen. I'll see you in my dream. Okay, let's go bring all this loot. Watch for the demon chairs. Demon chairs! I'm being ch Ow! Oh, fuck! Wow, it's like a car when it hits you. And they randomly change directions, which makes it very fucky to avoid them. Woo! Yeah, mouth's constantly working, more air coming through the mouth, drying them out. Drying, drying, drying them out the mouth. I'm starting to lose it. Better find Aline fast and drop all this shit. Enter the hole! I can't wait for when I can afford a controller. I so badly want to stream some Outbreak and play with the Outbreak community on Twitch. So you, Gary, Sky Professor. Oh, nice! Wait, you don't have a... Do you have like a PS... Like a modern console or anything? Because you can use... If I play on a computer, I use the Xbox One controller. Honestly. Um, my man <laughs> my most modern console was a GameCube till I got a 360 couple years back but yeah honestly didn't need anything else wait is the room room still healing okay that's good the head is not floating okay I got a Wii uh when I got the Xbox One, so like things started happening pretty fast after I got 360. Usually I get a new console every few years, like six, seven years, and always a five to ten years behind schedule. Sure. <laughs> Can be equipped along with no. No. I'm gonna keep one. No, I'm gonna be brave. I don't need it. Put the club back to. Let's see, how, how are we doing with health? One candle, two swords, two medallions. Five health, finally some health. And three of these, okay, okay. It's getting better. Damn, old thing, the, the stick is like this dissolving on itself. Add. I don't trust in that head anymore. Anyone outside? I think everybody just stopped coming. They're like, fuck him. <laughs> He's not there anywhere. He's either dead or or worse. So we're not gonna try to set him free anymore. Fuck that room. <laughs> Come on. Robbie the rabbit is still judging me. Okay, very little left till we can f set Eileen free. So this level is like like the building world. There's not much threat. You just just check all the rooms, pick up what you can without dying and you know, find the exit, which is not that hard. The second time around, things will start getting more fucky. Okay. Back upstairs. A 
And then gotta figure out which door is next to open. Oh, oh they're everywhere. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, good for now. Oh, the last pair of doors. Okay. Doesn't look like can go can go any further. That's Eileen's room. So let's check the other room instead. Squeaky squeaky. Oh man, that stinks like hell. What the hell is it? Looks like insides, Henry. Ah. There she is. Okay. Okay, it's time to save Eileen. I just approach, right? Can I check the... There's a scalpel, scissors, and other surgical instruments here. What are they doing here? It's a hospital, dummy. What are they doing here? I wonder what they're doing in a hospital. <laughs> I'm just strangling you, relax. She's not at all well. Almost 20 out of 21. And we can actually make it work if we want to. Yeah, it's me. You know the eye in your hole? In your wall? That's watching you often? Oh, that's going to convince her. It's a hospital, dummy. But I do know that if you get killed here, then you die in the real world too. I know what he meant. Anyway, Still though. The only way out of here is through that hole. Okay. Okay, take me with you. Okay. We're partners now. I can give her the purse. There we go. She has that motion, equipping motion as well. Okay, now we just... I guess we run together. The elevator should be open downstairs now. Or here, maybe. No, downstairs. Oh, all the chairs are gone. Oh, shit. That's not good. Let's attack together. One of them is going away. That's good. That's good. Keep that doing. And then step on her fast. Nice. Okay. It's much easier to fight him in the open space. That one's still alive. That one's still alive too. Okay. They're dead now, for sure. For sure. Don't go too far ahead. Sure. I wonder if anything else changes.
That was easy. Come on, I know you want it. She's still not dead, Henry. Come on. Step on her. Oh, I think I just stepped on Eileen somehow. Sorry, Eileen. Damn it. Everything's exce broken except for the open close button. Oh, okay. I remember what we're doing here. Hold on just a second. Yeah, now we need to go down. It's just... Yeah. Nothing to pick up. Okay. Well, that was pointless. If we take her... The funny thing is, if you take her to the room with a giant head, he's not gonna react to it at all. Come on. I'm guessing they're dead now. Okay, yeah. And they do leave a pool of blood. Like in RE. Okay, that's it, I think. The entire hospital. Not bad, not bad. I can try to take her to the room though, that's interesting. Shouldn't forget that. If I try to take her with me, which I'd gladly do, I said if, so you can assume it's not gonna work. <laughs> Goodbye, pipe. He's gonna wake up and be like, Hey, baby, how about some early morning sleep? Damn it! Eileen, she's gone. I love her reaction when you go back and meet her. What are you doing, Henry? Drunken asshole. Ah, something's broken. Fear coming from the photo. Yeah, there's nothing new here. And it stopped healing me. So the moment you pick up Eileen, now we gotta be careful. No more healing at home. The air in this room feels heavy. Oh, okay. It's a red envelope. There's a letter and a small key inside. You've seen that world as well. That horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. But there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with a placard set in it, look on the other side of the door. Then keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. Truth? Truth. 
July 20th, Joseph. And a small key. Small but ordinary key found in the red envelope. Okay? These shoes, are they even mine? I think what cracked was the photo. Oh no, the ceiling fell, yep. Remote control car blah blah. You're no comment on the sea on the ceiling fan, yeah. It's fallen down. This room, it's so oppressive. Now we look for hauntings. Things are gonna start acting very weird. Comments are not changing. The heads are not flying. Okay, two more papers. How long has it been since I've left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours. But during that time they found the bloody of the bloody? The body of fourteen out of twenty one. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. No date written. Another one. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell of blood loss after he stabbed himself in the neck with his spoon. So ineffective. <laughs> his body was buried in a cemetery just outside his hometown of Silent Hill in an unmarked grave. Well, not unmarked because... Pretty, much, pretty sure James in Silent Hill 2 reads his name on his grave, and so do you, I think, maybe? After that, his name became famous all over the world, and it looked like his string of mass murders was finished at 10 out of 21. But three years later, they found a corpse that had 12 out of 21 carved into it. The corpse was from six months earlier. In other words, the person was killed two and a half years after Sullivan, Sullivan committed suicide. The MO was exactly the same as Sullivan's, except for one thing. All ten of Sullivan's vic victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the 12 out of 21 victims still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat and are proceeding on that basis. But they haven't made, made any progress and recently discovered victim number 13. This corpse also had their heart intact. The police still haven't even identified the suspect. I've got a working hypothesis. Very few people knew the details of the original crimes and would be able to copy Sullivan's MO so precisely. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to the graveyard near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answer there. June 11. Okay. And finally, the weather that day was, was very strange. Even though I avoided the earlier storm, there was still a thick fog clinging to everything. Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. To the work of <laughs> exhuming bodies. The police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case. So I figured things probably hadn't been touched there, here. But I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition that it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. This diary is pretty damaged around this point and I can't read anymore. Of course, like the most important info. <laughs> I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave. And on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 11 out of 21. June 14th. Okay. Nothing on the radio. The clock is stopped. Okay, yeah, that hasn't changed. Small but ordinary key found in the red envelope.
I wonder what that's from. So the fan's fallen, but there's no real hauntings yet, I think. Which is good. That didn't change. Yeah, the bathroom is not, not going to change pretty much. Nothing. Okay, let's go pick up Eileen. We'll get to the spiral thingy, and from then on, we can go back and save and uh, and end the session. Right about three hours. Like I don't know how I calculate these, but uh, apparently I do. Of course, it, again, it could have been two hours, even an hour and a half, but that's not the way we play. We meet again. Henry. Oh. Have you been here the whole time? Yeah. And I didn't see any hole either. He just disappeared all of a sudden. I can't stay here by myself. I'll be cursed. I know it. What am I going to do? I might know a way to save you. Do you know about someone named Joseph? Uh, he was the guy who was in your apartment before you. He also mysteriously disappeared and shot himself in, you know, with strange noises, but yeah, we did check it out. Uh, <laughs> she's saying it just like you are now Henry <laughs> yeah he was doing an investigation about a religious cult and a man named Walter Sullivan <clears throat> I got this letter from him he told me to go down down into the deepest part of whoa whoa naughty naughty man just say <laughs> Come on, Eileen. We got the taser. Are those remains of the bugs I killed? Or... No, that's skin. Or maybe it's the bugs. Just got all smooshed. I'm walking on elevator engine. You use the small key. Oh, that's what the small key is for. Okay. Oh, there should be some nurses here. Yep. Once we're done with these, it'll be easier to breathe. Now quickly step on them. Oh, save me, Eileen! Eileen, save me. Stop it. That one's dead? Okay. I want this clean for later. 
Sorry, Aline. Because there's a... If you're crazy enough, you can return here at the end of the game. And it's a long way. So right now, we're going to go through... Not right now, next session. Sorry, Aileen. Um, we're gonna... Next locations are the first four worlds we've been to. Subway, Forest, Water Prison, and Apartment. Ever Downward. And, uh, we're gonna see more of them. Because we didn't complete them, actually. We just kind of escaped from all of them. Oh, here we go. Ever downward. Not gonna come in that, no. And as we're not getting healed by the room anymore, gotta be more careful with what I'm doing. But as we're doing this, so we can do this, there's a door at the bottom. We'll see it next time. It leads back to Subway World. And each Every time we go into a world, uh, to the, to a door, oh, speak. Every time we go through a door and into a world, we find another door. There was inaccessible the first time. It leads to another section like this that spirals down. Also has a hole leading nowhere in the middle, and uh, takes you to the next world and so on. So at the very end of the game. We can go backtrack all the way back up to the hospital to take a silver bullet, which inflicts like insane amount of damage to the final boss. So it's another thing I fairly recently fi found out about. I did it my last playthrough. It wasn't that hard. It just takes a lot of time. It's about 30 minutes running back. But yeah, I'll think about whether I want to do that on the stream, but possible I will. Now, as long as there are no hauntings. Nope, there's a haunting. Our first one. I'm getting a very bad feeling all over. Okay. So, do I want to use the medallion or a candle? Let's use a candle. I think. I think medallion's not gonna completely clear it. Maybe I've been holding something that somehow weakened this. The bad feeling is getting weaker. Must be this candle. Look at the clock. Crazy shit. Okay, so we have hauntings. The game becomes <laughs> Well, it becomes more difficult. It's not, it's not, you know, impossibly difficult, but it's noticeably difficult from this point. Still nothing there. Just Robbie in eternal uh, judgment. <laughs> Before we save, let's take one last peek through the window. Nothing interesting. Okay. Time to save. Below hospital world. 
Alrighty, uh, alrighty, folks. That's all for me for today. Thank you all for watching. Thanks to John and Dizzy, Dizzy for dropping by. Uh, tomorrow, oh, you're back. <laughs> I'm just signing off, man. Uh, tomorrow, I forgot. I'm so tired. Tomorrow's something. Oh yeah, tomorrow morning in a few hours, literally, we'll have Sea of Thieves, and afterwards, uh, some uh. Tom Clancy's The Division, yeah, that's right. The shooter RPG game that it's interesting. It's not definitely that wouldn't pull me in as this, but it's interesting. Ooh, nice new headphones. I hope you enjoy them. Yeah, man, I got a. It's it's half past eleven. I should really go to sleep, especially since I planned a stream in the morning with some friends. So. I should clear out. They, we did finish the most important thing that we came here to finish. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dizzy. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks, everyone else. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.